Hi, if you're a screen printer and you have occasion to uh, print some half tones, maybe on a t-shirt, uh, you may uh, be confused about how to go about doing that. You may also have been told that you need to buy this, you need to buy that, you can't just do it with the equipment that you have. Um, if you have Corel Draw, which this is, and a lot of screen printers use that program, Corel Draw allows you to output a file as a postscript, that's hard for me to say, and then you can print it using a program called Ghost Script and Ghost View and you can pretty much use any printer that you're already using to print your films. Ghost Script, it's hard for me to say, and Ghost View are both um, programs that work together. Uh, Ghost View is the one you're actually going to be using. Ghost Script is the program that runs in the background and drives Ghost View. And you can download both of these um, by doing a Google search for Ghost Script uh, Download, and you'll see their homepage, and you, you'll pick your operating system and download the appropriate version. Once again, you want to down, download both programs, Ghost Script and Ghost View. Now here we have, this isn't a real design, I just put this together so I'd have something with a grayscale in it for the purpose of a video. And uh, let's say I want to print this out as a half tone, not the not the type, just the falcon. And I'm going to print film so I can burn a screen. I'm going to do a 42 LPI half tone, which I'm going to use on a 158 mesh. And a lot of people might tell you that's uh, too fine of a half tone for that mesh count. It's actually not true. If you try it, you're going to be pleased as long as you have a, a, a good tight screen and a, a good layer of emulsion on your shirt side. You shouldn't have any trouble with a 42. You could even push it higher. I use 42 because it makes it easy to print and most uh, customers are happy with that. The type is not part of the halftone. It's solid black and it will print solid black. So here's how I'm going to do my halftone. I'm going to go up here to File Print just like, uh, just like I would if I was printing a film. And then as you know this menu will show all the different printers you have installed. And also up at the top you'll see this Device Independent Postscript file. It's hard for me to say. That's what we want for this. First we'll go to properties, make sure we have the correct page size. This is just a letter size print. Um, a t-shirt would be a larger sheet, but just for the video we'll keep it at letter. And then let's, let's look at the tabs up here. And let's pick this one first, postscript. This is where we designate our screen frequency which is our LPI and as I said I'm going to use 42 then I'll go over here to separations and I'll click this checkbox here print separations and um, you'll see the different colors that you may use we're just printing black for this but if you had a, a multicolor job you'd see a uh, four color process or a PMS or whatever you're using and I want to click this advanced and that'll bring up my individual colors. I'm only using black and it'll have the frequency, the LPI and the default angles. The default angle for black is 45 which is uh, standard for offset printing and uh, for years I, I would change this to 22 and a half because that's what I've been told to do and that's what I'd read all, 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 all these years. And about a year ago I started doing some experiments to see if I could reduce or eliminate the tiny moray pattern that I was getting. And I found that 45 actually keeps a moray to a bare minimum. Um, and the, ostensibly the reason for that is the mesh threads are at 90 degrees so it makes sense 
And I've been using 45 ever since, and I, I don't experience morays anymore. Half tone type, this is where we choose our, our dot shape. And uh, a lot of people use elliptical, ellipse. And I did the same thing for years too. That was also part of my experiment. About a year ago, I tried it with ellipse and uh, round dots. And I didn't notice a huge difference, but I did prefer the round a little bit over the elliptical. So that's what I use, 42 LPI. 45 degree angle, round dots, once again 158 mesh. If you try that I think you're going to be pleased. The last thing we want to choose up here is pre-press. That's going to bring up all this stuff. You want to deselect all of these. This is most more for offset printing than screen printing. And if you don't uncheck them it's going to print out several pieces of film that you don't need. And you'll just waste money. So we'll go to print. We'll just put it in here. You can put it wherever you want. Downloads. And call the, the file Falcon, because it's a Falcon. And uh, I already did this, so we'll replace the one I did. OK, now we have a PostScript file. That's hard for me to say. And we're going to open up Ghost View. We're done with Corel Draw. So I have ghost view up here on my hard drive. And here he is, little ghost. And we'll just open it. And we'll go up here to file, open, and we'll find our Falcon file under downloads. Let's see if we can find it. Falcon, there he is. We'll open that up. And there he is in ghost view. He still looks the same in here uh, because obviously your monitor's not showing us, or my monitor's not showing us the dots. But when I print this to film or vellum or whatever I'm going to print to, even a plain piece of paper, this will print as a half tone. This type will print solid black. So you just go back up to file and this time print and you pick your printer that you always use to print out your film put the settings on on the ones you already you use all the time so you don't have to change anything there and when this prints out your falcon should be half tone if for some reason it isn't then i would suggest you go back watch this again and take it step by step because there is a learning curve to to using the program um, but once you get used to it you're you're gonna you're gonna be really pleased with how easy it is and you'll be able to print half tones without having to purchase any any uh, expensive equipment or any expensive software and that's the way you do it and I hope your next project goes well